Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here, presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to add indicators onto a chart using the TradingView mobile app. Now, applying indicators is very straightforward. The first thing we want to make sure is we have a chart open. So right now, we're currently looking at the micro e-mini NASDAQ. On the bottom right corner of the app, you'll notice a menu option that's labeled Ideas, and right above it, you'll see a plus sign. We want to click that plus sign, you'll see top right corner, Indicators. Now normally by default, this is the first view that you'll see. There's two ways of applying an indicator. You can either search for it using the search function or you can collapse down any of the category groups, for example, technicals, and just simply search for the indicator that you want to apply onto the chart. Once you find it, simply click on it with your finger to apply it. So for example, let's just say we want to add Bollinger Bands. Now you can see Bollinger Bands has been added onto the chart. We're going to click the X on the top right corner and now you can see the indicator has been applied. Now this example is an overlay indicator. An overlay indicator will simply display an indicator over the actual candles. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate in a moment what a subchart indicator will look like. However, for now, let's first show you how to make modifications and also remove the overlay indicator first. So first things first, you'll notice on the top left corner, right below the sell button, you'll see where it says BB20 SMA. Now normally you'll see the arrow pointing up, but for any reason if you don't see it, you might have accidentally clicked that little arrow and you'll see now an arrow pointing down with a numerical one next to it. That's just letting you know that you have one indicator applied onto the chart. So we're going to click that little arrow pointing down, and now you can actually see where it says BB20 SMA. Now if we click that, this is going to display this menu option. The first icon, which is the eye icon, which is basically going to allow you to remove, or not necessarily remove the indicator, but remove it from the screen, but it's still there in the background. If you click it again, now you can see it's reapplied onto the chart. Let me just move the, the chart down just a bit so you can see more of the indicator. The next icon in the middle there, in between the trash can icon and the eye icon, is the settings icon. So if you click that, that allows you to change the input values, the styles, as well as the visibility of the indicator. Trash can icon is going to allow you to remove the indicator. And then the last button to the far right with the three dots is more of a detailed view of the indicator as far as making changes to it. So you can add alerts, for example. Uh, you can copy the indicator. You can remove it. You can also go to settings at the very bottom, which is going to bring you into the same settings that we just saw a moment ago. Now let's go ahead and add a sub indicator. So for example, again, bottom right corner, ideas, you wanna click the plus sign right above it. Go to indicators, top right corner. This time we'll use the search function. Let's do MACD. MACD will be the search uh, function, the search result, the very top result there you see where it says moving average convergence divergence. We're gonna click it. Now the indicator has been added. And notice now this is a sub indicator. So sub chart indicator will basically essentially create a sub chart below the main chart as you can see there. Now you can resize the sub chart you'll see a line right above where it says MACD 1226 close. So if I take my finger and click on it, what you're looking for is a little highlight on that line. It takes a little, little tricky because I got fat fingers, but you gotta have to be very precise. There you go. So now you see that gray shade. Now you can move the indicator up and down to resize the actual subchart. Once you're content with the size, you can release it. And now the, the size of the subchart will adjust accordingly. Now to make any changes to the actual subchart indicator, you just got to simply click on the indicator itself. You'll see these little circles appear, which is letting you know that's been selected. And then you'll see the same exact menu options appear as we saw a moment ago. Again, the first icon, the eye icon is going to hide the indicator. The next icon is going to get you into the settings where you can change the inputs, the styles and the visibility. The trash can icon is going to allow you to delete the indicator and the far right button, the same thing, allow you to get into a detailed modification or accessible settings that you can apply onto the indicator. And this is how you add indicators onto TradingView mobile app. 